Welcome to Informatica support videos. My name is Stan Carrion and I will be talking you through this video. The topic for this video is how to read or write files to HDFS, the Hadoop file system, in Informatica data services. This video applies to Informatica data services 9.5.1. Within this video we will actually demonstrate how to configure Power Exchange for HDFS in Informatica data services to read or write files from a Hadoop file system. The first thing to verify when you want to use Power Exchange for HDFS is to ensure that the right license is in place. You can verify this using the administrator interface by accessing your license, going to the options, and under the connections you should have a Power Exchange for HDFS license that is currently active. The first step to configure Power Exchange for HDFS is to configure the Hadoop distribution you would like to use. As we are using Power Exchange for HDFS for data integration services, we want to check this in our data integration service. Open up the data integration service in the administrator, go to the processes tab, and under the processes tab, in the execution options you will find an option called data integration service Hadoop distribution directory. This is actually specifying the libraries of the Hadoop distribution to use. In my case this is an Apache Hadoop 1.0.3 distribution. The libraries for all of the Hadoop distributions supported are bundled within the Informatica server installation directory. You can verify this by going to your Informatica installation directory, going into the services directory, shared Hadoop sub subdirectory. Within here you can find all of the supported Hadoop distributions. If you would like to change your data integration service, for instance to connect to Cloudera, you just modify the value of the distribution in this field and save it to your data integration service. The Hadoop distribution also needs to be specified for the developer client. This needs to be done on the developer client machine by going to the installation directory of the client, developer client, and opening up the developer core.ini file. In this file you will see one option called infahadoop distdir, which again in my case is referring to a Hadoop Apache Hadoop 1.0.3 installation. If you would like to change the Hadoop distribution you want to connect to, the same applies here. All of the libraries are bundled within the client under the Hadoop directory and the relevant subdirectory. So if you would like to change this to Cloudera, you just copy the name and you would update it in your developer core.ini file. In order to connect to a power to a HDFS system we need to specify a connection. This can be done in the administrator again by going to the connections tab, actions, new connection and selecting a file system Hadoop file system connection. We specify a name for our connection. The username is the username that is able to access the HDFS, in our case that's HTTP user, and then we also need to provide the name node URI. The name node URI can be retrieved from the Hadoop configuration. In this Apache Hadoop distribution it is in the conf directory and we want to open up the core site.xml. Within here we've got the hdfs colon slash slash server name colon port which is the URL we want to specify here. Once this is saved you will see the 
connection now listed under your domain connections with the details we have just entered. The same could be done using the Informatica developer by going to the preferences, Informatica connections, and again under the file system we will actually see the connection we have just created in the administrator. If we open up the details here, we are actually able to test the connectivity to the HTFS, which is successful. In this example, we want to go and read a file from the HDFS and manipulate it in a mapping and write it back to the HDFS. We will just browse the file system, the HDFS file system now, have a look at the file we want to process, which is this pg19699.txt file, which is actually just a plain text representation of an ebook. We will now have to create the necessary objects in our uh, project. So I've created a dedicated project for this support video. And the first thing we want to do is create a data object. In Informatica Data Services, you have two types of ob objects you can read from an HDFS. One is a complex file data object, and one is a regular flat file data object. Within this video, we will be focusing on a flat file data object. The creation of the flat file data object for HDFS is uh, the same as a regular flat file data object that would be residing on your normal file system. We provide all the details. We are just going to provide a different delimiter. And as we've seen, the file is actually just uh, ebook. We are only having one colon which is representing one line of text in the file. Once this has been defined, we need to go and configure our HDFS. So within the runtime for our read mapping, we are going to specify the connection type. By default, this is none. If you want to connect to HDFS, you need to specify a dupe file system, after which you can select the connection we've just created. Now we just need to provide the source file directory and the file name, which we can retrieve from this file browser. Just provide the source file directory. We provide the file name and we save this. In order to verify this, we can run this in the data viewer, which is bringing back all of the data retrieved from the file on the HDFS. The configuration for the write mapping is very similar. We go to the write mapping. In the runtime information, we specify that we want to connect to a Hadoop file system. We select the connection. And again, we need to specify the directory we want to write to. We will just be writing to the same directory in this example. And the file name will just be slightly modified. There we go. Once this has been created, we can now use this in a mapping In order to read the file from HDFS, we import our physical data object as a read. We will be manipulating our data. In this example, we'll just create a dummy expression. Where we create an output port with a simple manipulation of the inputs. So we are just going to prefix each line with an infa tag. To actually write the data to HDFS, again, we will import the physical data object. This time we select write, and we populate the output of our expression to our target file. Now we are able to run this mapping. So 
so and if we go back to our Hadoop file system now we should have a newly created info file this is our target file and all of the content has now been prefixed with our info prefix this concludes this support video we hope this has been useful to you if you have any feedback we would love to hear from you using our email supportvideos at informatica.com or using our twitter twitter channel info support thank you